So in this video, I want to talk about Mayo Cheeky, as this is a series that is honestly a, a bit of a favorite of mine. I do have the full collection of the manga, but there's some interesting kind of information that kind of, I think some people don't realize, is that there actually is a light novel, and apparently that is the main source material, which actually confuses me as well, because I've got the, the full manga, which is seven volumes of the manga, and there are 12 volumes of the light novels. And I'm like sitting there thinking to myself, wait, uh, 12 volumes of the light novels, seven volumes of the manga? Like, did they condense 12 volumes into the manga? It's really hard to find any information about the actual light novels. Everywhere I look, no one really wants to talk about it. They all just go, hey, check out the manga. And so it's really hard to know what the deal is with the light novels, and there is no legal English translation of it either, but there is a legal English translation of the manga, as you would guess, because I also have a copy of it. And it does, at least from my understanding, because again, I'm trying to sort of gleam at the light novels, it is a full story. Like, volumes 1 through 7 is a completed story. And in my opinion, it is a satisfying ending. So the question comes down to, okay, well, where does the anime end? Well, it ends halfway through the manga. So there would technically be enough source material for a second season, but it's clear as day that it was used as a source material seller. It came out July of 2011. I was about to say 21 for some reason. 2011 is when it came out. And yeah, 13 episodes. The last episode kind of felt a little bit out of place a little bit because, because it kind of was like, oh, here's this extra little thing. It is in the manga, to be very clear, but it ends halfway through the series or halfway through the manga. The chances of a season two are pretty much zilch. It, it, will prob it will never happen. Unless really out of a fluke, they decided, hey, we want to do a complete series, complete the story, blah, blah, blah. Sure, they could do that. And the studio is still around. The studio is still doing other works. They're working on uh, another anime that's coming out this year called Summer Pockets. That's meant to be based on a visual novel. And then they do some work here and there, bits and pieces. Like the last work they did was a spy series that came out in 2013, July. So, yeah, they do a little bit of work, but they're not a super big studio. I do think the chances of a season two for it are just zilch, none. They don't do season twos that often, the studio, but they do do them occasionally. So, just want to be very clear there. I would recommend people going to read the manga. That's why I brought up the light novel stuff, because some people would say, hey, but what about the light novel? I would just recommend reading the manga. Start from volume one, go all the way through. It's only seven volumes. It's not that much. So as much as the anime did do a pretty good loyal adaptation of it, it's one of those where I'm like, yeah, it'd just be easier to just go with the manga, start from the beginning, go the way through, and enjoy the entire experience. It's a, it's a bit of a favourite of mine, I always love going back to it and re-watching it from time to time just for the giggles, but it is also one of those where I've, I've accepted that season 2 will never happen for a variety of different reasons. It's just not worth doing a season 2. It wouldn't bring in the profitability, it wouldn't really benefit as far as merchandise and selling volumes goes. It's just one of those where it does a, do a good job at getting people to want to go read the source material and even getting the source material is quite challenging because even where I live now they don't sell the volumes as easily anymore they used to sell them separate volumes and then they did little bundle volumes and even then those can be a little bit hard to get your hands on but if you can get them then great grab a copy if you can I always like having physical copies because pff, even when they sell digital versions they end up being about the same price as a physical copy so I always try to go with physical because it's the way to go because you never know when your country will ban stuff for no good reason. So having a secret black market of the amazing series that have been banned is my long life dream. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What did you think of the ending without spoiling it? Were you satisfied with it? Do you like the manga? Do you like the anime? Any and all thoughts are definitely welcome in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.